If we are going to embrace the world in prayer, we must include the Muslim world. Thank God for Muslims. We need to love them. We need to know that there is a divine plan for them. And how do we pray for them? One way to pray for them is to say, Lord, may they have a revelation of Jesus. May they know Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord. And to encourage you, there are brothers and sisters in China sending thousands of people, missionaries, to the Muslim world to share the news of Jesus Christ. Many of them risk their lives on a daily basis, but it's what is called the Back to Jerusalem movement. They are, their goal as Chinese brethren, and most of them come from the persecuted church in China, so they are tough already enough. And what they want to do is they want to reach, they want to embrace the house of Buddha, the house of Hindus, and the house of Muslims. And so what a task. Pray for our Chinese brethren and thousands of missionaries that have been sent. You know, if we lose compassion, we lose the gospel. We must love our people. They are in the other side of religion. But hey, we are together in the same, sharing the same world. About 20% of the world population is adhering to the Muslim faith. So let's pray for them, let's love them, let's fast for them until we see a tremendous revival within the Muslim world.